I sometimes hear that Agile is not possible for embedded software. So let's just have a little discussion about that. I, sorry, but I put together about 70 slides on this real quick this morning. I'll try to go through it really fast. Um, we're different people that do embedded software. We can't use Agile. There's hardware that's not ready yet. And it kind of looks like a mess. It looks like this. And we've got small memories, like Homer Simpson's little tiny brain, or like this watch, or like this pacemaker. But you know, sometimes the embedded systems have big memories, like a GPS system, or an iPhone, or a large hadron detector. But we can't use Agile because we have constraints. We've got uh, deadlines. And if this pacemaker misses its deadline, that's not all that's going to be dead. We can't use Agile for embedded. Why? I.O. is specialized, like an iPhone or a washing machine, or a Roomba floor cleaning robot, or a pacemaker, or a large hadron detector. We have special problems. Did I tell you these prototypes are expensive? Yeah, and they look like this. We've got to share them with a bunch of people. And it's got bugs. Wait, who's, whose bugs are those? I don't know. They're not mine. Wait, whose are they? You know, it's really hard to tell. Embedded systems have specialized UIs, like an iPhone, or a Roomba floor cleaning robot, or a pacemaker, or a large hadron detector. The software can only be tested in the target. It's not meaningful to test it anywhere else. And for that, we're going to need people. People to test the software. And it's going to take time. Software gets created in a lab. But where does it get run? It gets run in Roomba floor cleaning robots, or pacemakers, or GPS systems, or somewhere else. Stories tell you about stories, but they don't work uh, because it assumes there's scope that's optional, but there's no optional scope. Well, not until we're late anyway. Um, and we've got to have specs, and those specs must be frozen and written in stone. Iterations in incremental delivery, how can you deliver a washing machine or a room before cleaning robot or a pacemaker incrementally? You can't. Well, what is this Agile thing anyway? Is it Agile with a big A? Is it Agile with a little a? Is this a proper noun? Is it an adjective? Agile design, Agile this, Agile that. We tried Agile. Oh yeah? What happened? It didn't work. Well, well what did you do? Well, we were uh, Agile, we were ex extreme. Oh, well that's cool. Um, did you do uh, two-week sprints? Did you do test-driven development? Did you have any automated unit tests? Did you have a release plan? Did you pair program? Did you refactor your code? Did you involve your customer? Did you write stories? Did you do continuous integration? Did you have shared code ownership? Did you have a coding standard? Well, what did you do? Oh, we didn't write any documentation. Oh, well. That's extreme, but that's not extreme programming. Well, why do we need Agile anyway? Everything is fine. It's fine. Really, it's just fine. No problems. No problems at all. I mean it. Everything is fine. Pay no attention to that fire over there. We're 90% done. There's just one more bug. All right, now back to our regularly scheduled program. <laughs> 